In the fourth episode of Chestnut QVT, we will go over everything to do with the export tab. So, let's get on to it. Hello, this is the fourth episode of Chestnut QVT, and in this one, like I just said in the intro, I will go over this, the export tab. We have got seven different export formats, OBJ, Ply, Matching Cubes, XRAW, Slab, QB, Voxels, Isometric Pixel Sprite, 2D Sprite, Slices, Point, and Cubes. The only ones I can show you are OBJ, Ply, 2D, and Isometric, as the rest I don't have the programs to import them to. For the first two, I will show 2D pixel sprite and ISO. So for ISO, we can just click isometric and in ISO, we can, I'll just name this scene one and I'll pull it up. So with isometric, we get an isometric view. This doesn't really show that much so I'll just go into one of my other scenes to show you how it does it. So this is my little cactus scene and I'll click on isometric cactus and I'll pull it up here. So this is what it does by isometric. It does several views and it's like isometric view. For a 2D pixel sprite, it flattens it, so for 2D, and you can import this into a game to use it for a game asset. Vox is the standard file format, which is .vox, which is just the basic file format of Magic Vox. The next two are OBJ and Pi. For these, I'm going to open up Blender. To import them. So for this scene I will export an OBJ and apply mesh. This is Blender which is a 3D program where we can import our OBJs and apply mesh. So we just go file import OBJ file import OBJ and we've got our cactus OBJ here. I will do NZ for rendered and it attaches the color normally like on here. With glass I don't exactly know how it, how to do that from Magic Voxel but this is Blender and not Magic Voxel so I'm just gonna show the basics here of importing. So for PlyMesh it's pretty much the same import stand for the ply Cactus, Ply, Import Ply. And from Ply Mesh it's a little bit different. I think I may have to uh, apply the texture to it with Ply Mesh. So that's the basics of importing into Blender with Ply and OBJ. Now back to Magic Voxel. I can show you one more thing which is slices. This may not show it exactly as it's too small but it slices up our voxel scene. So as you can see here it sliced it into multiple slices. Think of it as Lego instructions where it shows in multiple slices like that but with voxels. And here's the little thing, if we go into render, shape, lego, we can turn this into a lego scene. Anyway, that is going to be about it for the fourth episode of Chestnut QVT. I will do some more recordings in the future, may be coming after this one, or a couple of days from now, I don't know, but I'll check for my Twitter and for updates and anything else but I'm rambling like I always do in every video 
so I'm going to leave it there so that's going to be about it have a good day night evening or whatever in between chestnut out